Rajeshri Vengitramanan, 80 words, English, short and dictation. Mr. Chairman, we in this country have entered upon an era of political freedom and that must be about great social changes. We are living in the age of common man and political power has passed into his hands. Now, the common man, you and I, must be educated to use that power correctly. Government of India is introducing universal compulsory education in the country. Before we introduce compulsory education, we have to be clear in our minds what we mean by education. Nowadays, to be educated means to be literate. It is impossible to make the teeming millions in this country literate in a short time. But that does not mean that they cannot be educated. It is for this reason that Gandhiji started the system of education which has become to be called the basic system. That system is that every boy in the village should learn some craft like weaving or carpentry or agriculture. Though through that craft we should teach him not only to do things with his hands but also give him such an element of education <coughs> including literacy as will be practical use to him in after life. This will partly make compulsory education cheaper by making the school produce something which could be sold in the market and so help to pay in part the expenses of the school. This does not mean that the school will become a self-supporting institution. The state will always have to pay its expense if, if we make education mean literacy it shall take us as a very long time to become educated. It is not merely the learning of reading. There is such a thing as education by means of ear and die. We can use the radio and the cinema to educate those who are past the age when they could usefully be made literated. We on give compulsory literacy to those who are young so that they learn to read and write and can make good use of printed matter when they grow up. But the vast majority in India are beyond the school going age. But we will have to educate them through oral means such as the radio. The average Indian villager may not be literate, but he is very shrewd and can easily see where his advantage lies. By means of the radio, we can teach the village to take interest in the political and economic 
affairs of the country so we have to teach him a new sense of pride in his country and a willingness to make offers for it by stopping from offering bribes black marketing and corruption in very form it is not enough or even necessary to make him literate half knowledge is worse than no knowledge and a semi literate villager <coughs> will soon become a prey to cunning political propaganda imagine a villager falling a prey to the propaganda of the communist who will tell him that he himself is not responsible for any of his miseries but the government or the landlord or the owner of property is at the present day the need is not for giving literacy but for teaching correct sense of values example are not lacking in history were the mass of people decided weighty political and social issues by the method of discussion thank you